You only have a torch. This is sad. I killed- oh, Holy crap! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth. Today, we return. And, uh, check this out. Check this out. Look at this. I'm hopping off the map. Look in the lower right hand corner. Version 1.5.9. Oh my god, what's that? Kafir dropped like a low key update. What's in it? Well, from the research that I have done, pretty much what is in it. Ooh la la, I will go to you happily, Mr. Crates. I'm definitely going over there. Uh, to my knowledge and out of the research that I've done with this, pretty much I think it was like a very small bug fix. But don't be super disappointed yet because think of it this way. They've done like small bug fix patches before I feel like. But why would they feel the need to bring it up to 1.5.9 for that? So that got me thinking, that got the gears spurring, especially with like, uh, the Oka Grove photos that they were showing- Ah, Toxic Spitter! Especially with the Oak Grove. Ah, there you go, you're dead. But with the Oak Grove photos that they were showing and screenshots in-game, that means the Oak Grove is pretty close to being completed. Hear me out, this is a theory I have, but I think it's a pretty damn good one. I think you guys will agree with me once you hear the rest of the theory. But check this out. So with update 1.5, if you guys remember 1.5, that was quite a while back. That was the update, I'm pretty sure, that brought in Bunker Alpha. Which, in everyone's minds, is a freaking huge update. Being able to go underground and start looting Bunker Alpha, that's a big deal. Okay, so it would make sense that 1.6 would have to be a big update. So what if they made this like little dinky 1.5? Hello dear, how you doing? Oh. That was a- that was a sad thud. It's a bad way to go out. So think of it this way. What if they did this, so the update that's coming out later this week can be the 1.6 update, and they can release the Oak Grove? Cause think of it, the Oak Grove, that's a pretty big freaking deal. Cause that means you can then go over the river, which means you have access to a whole ton of new stuff. If you go to the Oak Grove, you unlock a whole ton of new recipes, including stuff like, hello! I'll take that. But including stuff, check out some of the recipes that are available here that stem from the oak grove. The radio tower, oak planks and steel bars. The two things you'll be able to get out of the grove, out of that screenshot that they showed a while back. So this is, this leads back to the screenshot. If they have an in-game screenshot of it, that means it's pretty far along in the development cycle. It's not in the art stages like the winter biome and all that. That might be a little bit. But they literally had an in-game screenshot of it, which means a lot of the mechanics should be working pretty fine. And that means, I think it might be realistic to expect this thing potentially pretty soon. Oh, Templar, hello, dude. You only have a torch. This is sad. I killed- oh, Holy crap! Remember when I gave a gold medal to that Frenzy Giant last episode? I take that back. I am revoking that gold. Frenzy Giant, you got a silver. Holy hell! That was impressive! I am amazed by that sweet freaking mama, dude. Oh, but okay, back to this theory, and I do want to hear your guys' feedback on this theory as well. Think about it. That way, later this uh, week, when the update comes out, they could make it 1.6. You know, because, I, like, I don't know if they would do 1.5.10. I know games like Minecraft and other games that do version numbers have done that. But maybe Kafir just wants to be, like, natural and be like, okay, 1.5.9. After that, it's 1.6. So maybe they're like, all right, our Oak Grove update and stuff is pretty ready to go. I should have went to the dealer. Maybe we'll stop by there. So he might have been like, or the Kafir does might have been like, okay, check this out. Oak Grove update's pretty ready to go, but we don't want to release it for 1.5.9, but we don't want to wait to release it either because a lot of players are getting restless. You know, a lot of people want new stuff added in as fast as possible. Why don't we update it to this dinky little 1.5.9 with like a couple of small bug fixes? Like, like I said, I think they fixed like a small chest glitch on the second floor of the bunker, but that is by far the smallest thing they've ever done in a like incremental update to my knowledge. You know, so it just strikes me as really weird and that's the only reason I could think of them wanting to do it like that, you know? I don't know, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of my theory. And if you agree with my theory, definitely let me know what you guys think will be in the update. Cause like I'm saying, dude, if my theory is right, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be the Oak Grove. And actually I'm gonna go over to the map really quickly to show you guys why this is a big deal. So I showed you guys some of the crafting recipes, but if we go to the Oka Grove, that means we're gonna be able to go over the river. If we're able to go over the river, that means maybe the ATV 
will be craftable, which means maybe they'll kind of tweak the recipe a little bit because we have to be able to go over that river to get to the oak groves. And I don't think they're going to move the oak grove locations over here or something, right? I think they're going to leave them there. So you have to be able to go over the river. I don't think the chopper is going to do that, but with something like an all-terrain vehicle here, it allows you to build an ATV to reach far territories in comfort. Like, I know that, like, that ATV looks a little bit like it might be, like, maybe it could go over a shallow river, which that is, but, like, a chopper or something can't. So that means if we unlock over there, we might be able to go to these watchtowers and stuff to unlock a vision. The pump jack, although, the pump jack makes sense. You know why? Because that involves needing to become in a clan. To be in a clan, check this out, you need the radio tower. To get the radio tower, you gotta go to the Oak Grove. It's all connected. It all makes sense to me. Oak planks and steel bars. That's the two things that link back to it. And think about it. An update that big, that would be worthy of a huge jump from 1.5 to 1.6. Because think about what they would have to add. They'd have to make the ATV possible. Okay, one big thing. You can craft a new vehicle. Because they figured out the vehicle mechanics, that's what the chopper does. Think about it. The chopper allows you to drive around and all that jazz. So they figured out the vehicle mechanics. Okay, let's just adjust it to the ATV. That shouldn't be super difficult. Because at, at the base, they're just vehicles. You just have to have a different one to go to different locations. But they have the vehicle mechanics figured out from the chopper. So all they gotta do is add in the last chopper part, which I'll show you guys in a- not the chopper part, but the ATV part. And then you'll be able to go over here, go to the oak grove, gather oak, gather steel, and start crafting some things, like, for example, here, the Glock 17. Or something big, like the radio tower. I don't know if there's anything else that I might be missing out on. Fishing rod, for example. Maybe you'll be able to fish at some sort of, uh, water thing, but I just, like, I hope you guys, like, see where I'm coming from with this, and I really want to hear you guys' opinions. What do you think of my theory with 1.6? And if you agree with my theory, what do you think we are going to see in 1.6? Like I'm saying, I think it'll be ATV, right? Ability to go to the Oak Groves and potentially craft the radio tower. I don't know if they'll make it functional and let you do, like, the, the clan stuff. That's a bit on the iffier side, but maybe we'll have a new base to raid, too. Maybe we'll be able to go to the watchtowers. That's pretty iffy. Maybe they'll just be like, oh, you can't go there at this time, right? They'll, they'll come up with some reason, but... I think I got a pretty good case here. And I can't wait to hear what you guys say in the comments. And keep in mind, if you do leave a comment down below, that's already a third of the way to be entered in the weekly giveaway for a $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card that you will be able to pick which one you want. So if you play on Android, you can get one of those. You can get one of the Play Stores. If you play on an Apple device, you can get yourself one of the iTunes. Here's the thing I was talking about. Everything here is attainable. The recipe is pretty nutty to get, especially with those engine parts. But technically speaking, the only thing stopping you from crafting an ATV is an ATV transmission. Military grade transmission for assembling an ATV. So think of how easily they could add that. They could just add that as a potential drop in the red loot chest, or maybe add another floor to the bunker. Either way though, it makes sense because that'd be a lot of stuff to add into the update, which means it's worthy of a huge jump from 1.5 to 1.6. I, I think my reasons are good. Maybe you guys disagree with me. Like I said, let me know. And like I said, be entering the weekly giveaway because every Saturday to Friday here on Star Snap Daily Videos, what I do is do a giveaway for you guys. I'm also going to go ahead and probably... Uh, I got to put some of this stuff away. But back to what I was saying, all that you guys got to do is if you are uh, leaving a comment on the video, all you got to do is leave a like as well and make sure you're subscribed and that will automatically enter you into the weekly giveaway here on last day on earth what happens is every saturday to friday i let you guys enter and what i will do okay i was checking if maybe a motorcycle event spawned no we'll probably go to a couple of these places though and try to get some cool stuff to happen visit a couple places see what's up as well but uh yeah i'll pick a random last day on earth video from the previous saturday to the friday and then what happens is the saturday after that friday for the past week like i said i'll pick a random video then I'll pick a random comment. If that comment did the uh, liking and subscribing as well, you will win. I will announce the winner on Saturday, and I will message you on YouTube to go ahead and settle what kind of gift card you want and whatnot. So make sure to do that, and that's a continuous thing every week, so it's a pretty awesome way I have it given back to you guys. It's possible because of the free crates video I did, so definitely check that out if you want as well. But uh, I'm going to put the rest of my stuff away. 
then we're gonna go have a little bit of fun as well. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this, because this could be big, dude. Could you, I'd like, oh my god, I gotta set aside a lot of time this weekend, if that's gonna be what's going down with the update. Also, I really gotta get the gunsmith bench crafted, man. I am sick and tired of having all of these, like, really low-quality things. I would love to just break them down and do something with them, you know? But right now, we can't really do much, so it's kind of a struggle. There we go. I'd say we packed pretty light here for whatever adventures we're about to get into. I got no shoes. I'm a damn hippie today. All right. No, the pantaloons, the pantalones, man. They're coming off. Okay, no more pantalones for me. No, I'm just kidding. Today, I'm going to be the pants wonder. I'm not going to be the pantsless wonder. But today, I will be pantaloon man. Not the man without pantaloons, but pantaloon man himself. Still, dude, I just can't get over how weird that is. Like, that's like, it's been itching at me, and I really, like, I cannot, like, I'm recording this the night before just because I cannot wait any longer. I needed to at least make a video about it. Uh, so, like, the night before this video's out is when I'm recording this. I just had to, like, start talking about it because, like, I want to talk to someone about it, and, like, I just, ah, I need to get my thoughts across right now because I feel so strongly about this, and I am so excited for it. It is going to be awesome. You know what we could do, too? We could stop by the dealer, wave hello to him, see how my buddy's doing. Uh, why don't we use a little bit less? Really? Really? Oh man, 28. Uh, well in about 15 seconds we'll be able to run over there. Hey, Mazel tov. We got 28. Let's run on over there. And we are bringing the vehicle too. I like to bring that thing everywhere. Dude, I can't wait. Imagine the ATV. That's another, that's another thing I'd love to hear about you guys in the comments. Imagine what the ATV is gonna be like. Do you think it's gonna have more slots? Oh, can you imagine the paint jobs on the ATV? Ooh, there's so many cool things that could happen. Like, I know this is speculation, but listen, dude. Like, I get some people are like, oh, don't get hyped about it, dude. Hype is honestly half of the fun. Being excited about something, even if, even if you get let down, you still gotta admit, the process of being hyped. Not even sometimes the thing that you're hyping for, but sometimes just the process of being hyped is so much fun to do. Especially to partake in with a bunch of other people. That's what I love doing with you guys. I love, you know, I love spreading my own hype. Seeing what you guys have to hear. Hearing your guys' hype. And that's what I love about us. We're a community of people here. What the hell, Toxic Spitter? Get away from me, mate. Why are you attacking me? Nope. Got the jukes. I'm so happy they fixed that. Apparently that was broken in the 1.5.8 update. But then they fixed it in like a silent update or something. Where it started working again out of nowhere. Like, it didn't get incremented. It didn't go from 1.5.8 to 1.5.9. And it got fixed or something, so... I don't know. Woo! Oh, no. You made me smell. What the hell? Meanie. Bobini. Fartini. Terrible smell. The bloater's lurking around. Dude, I never get that thing. Like, the, oh, no, the bloater's lurking, lurking around. Like, the bloater is not scary. He's just a slightly bigger dude is all. Like, come on, man. I thought society got past this point. Jesus. Hello, fast spider. Can't wait to say hello to you. We gotta capitalize before we become too smelly, you know? Oh my god. Got a home run with his arm. I'm golfing par today. And we got a couple more to deal with here. Hopefully this doesn't alert the rest of them. This chest is what I'm looking forward to. This one is the one that should have some good stuff. This might have the rubber parts and whatnot. Get the hell away from here, fast spider. How did you track me down? Where did you come from? Oh! Still not as impressive as the front lip that that person did. Okay, what you got for me, chest? Do not disappoint. Rubber parts? Eh. ATV gas tank. That's another thing I really want to be in the game someday. Is where we could, like, sell some of this stuff. Like, not just a dealer. I want a trader. You know, I want a trader, not just a dealer who's like, Oh, bring me a workbench and I will give you a mysterious crate filled with something. It's like, no, I want to go to someone be like, yo, how much will you give me for this? I don't want to go over there and be like, I'll give you a mysterious crate for seven carrots. I need my vitamin C. Herp -a -derp -a -derp. That's exactly what I imagine a dealer being like. I can't wait to fight this guy, dude. I am- I've been hyping it up for a while. I still don't know what weapons I should bring. People have been telling me. You know, people have been hanging. They're like, oh, Star, you can't do damage to a dealer. I'm still gonna try. Alright, maybe I'll be the lucky one who, like, finds a way to glitch it. You know? I want this dealer dead. Alright, I don't want him dictating what I do with my carrots. I don't want him taking my rubber parts from me. Like, look, look at the stupid thing he's about to want from us. It's probably gonna be like, what's something stupid? Five band-aids? You need five band-aids? Are you hurt? 
Are you hurt? Did you stub your toe? Do you need a band-aid for your stub toe? Even though it's probably not bleeding. Do you need a band-aid for it, Mr. Dealer? Oh no, I need five duct tape, uh, some ball bearings, and a transistor, and I'll give you a mysterious crate filled with mystery. It's just like, what is you doing? Could you imagine an actual apocalypse? My weapon crate for your stuff, fair deal. Dude, I would be like, no, open up that damn crate. Show me what's inside. I would not be like, all right, I'll just trust that you won't fandangle me. This man keeps wanting more rubber parts as well. I feel very passionate. No, you are not the traitor. See, here it says traitor. Outside it says dealer. This is a lie. This is not what I want. I want someone that I could shop with. All right, I want a goddamn 7-Eleven in-game or something. I will not accept these shenanigans any longer. And I will not do your stupid deal. Okay, I like when he wants like carrots and berries or something, you know? That's what- that's when he's at his best. That's when he's a reasonable man. He's like, oh, I just want some tea. Not over here demanding half of a, like, a, half of a vehicle's worth of spare parts. It takes me like seven loot runs to get that stuff, and he wants to give me a box filled with a mystery for it. Talk about a scam. Jesus. We can go back to the bunk and try to wrap up a couple of those guys as well. I might end up doing that. Although for now, I do want to run back home. See if maybe we could trigger a chopper event. Because I love doing chopper events. I think we've done one like every episode so far pretty much. So I'd be pretty cool with that. But if not, I'm cool with just putting our stuff away. Uh, I'm starting to run a little bit low on inventory room too. Like my chests are getting pretty filled up. So that's why I want like the ATV and stuff to come out. And like just new stuff for us to craft. So I could spend a ton of this stuff to craft some of it, you know? Cause I got a ton of useless crap, like light bulbs. I think we can make like a, we can make something out of the light bulbs, but you know what I mean? Like stuff that I don't really have a good use for. All right, and with a little bit of our organizational needs taken care of, I thought we might as well toss this wheel over here on the ATV. For real, dude, they gotta tweak this thing. Like we're about halfway there on wheels. Like I, I, like the wheels aren't a big deal to me. It's just these engine parts. They're so hard to find. Like, I don't think we got any out of our chest that we opened up this time in the bunker. We still have the red one to open up. We just don't have enough tickets for that, which kind of sucks. But that's okay. In terms of the acid bath here, yeah, we're kind of getting there. The workbench. Well, I mean, that's already crafted. We don't have to do anything special for that. Yeah, this, eh, less engine parts, but still. I'm not going to actually finish crafting that until we know for sure that the infected box is coming. Because that's what it's going to be used. Honestly, I might start spending some resources on the gunsmith bench. It's gonna take a lot of aluminum. That's like the one thing I don't have. Everything else, I got enough rubber parts. I got, I think I got enough bolts. Just all these plates and whatnot, it's gonna take a lot of aluminum. I think we need 70 total, plus 15 wires. Honestly, yeah, that's gonna be pretty bad. But that's gonna be really good because that'll let us tear down a ton of our broken down guns here. So what I can actually start doing and what I've started doing here, you can see like I've started saving up, not in that chest. Over here, I've started saving up some, like, really broken down guns. So what I want to do is get some guns absolutely as low quality as possible. Because what happens, at least if they're, like, uh, like, you can tear them down into weapon parts. And I'd like me some weapon parts, but okay. Let's go. Oh, I gotta take a shower, too. Maybe I could sing in it. Yeah, shower makes sense. I know. You're smelly. I don't know anyone who talks to themselves about being smelly, so I don't know why you have to. But I don't judge. Just making a comment is all. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I, I think I have definitely at least at some point said out loud, like maybe like sniffed my shirt, sniffed my armpit, and be like, damn, I smell. I don't think I'd be like, oh, the shower's a good idea. You know, like I'm talking to my superior overlords that are watching over my shoulder. Little angel on my shoulder or something. It's like, oh, uh, angel, we should go take a shower. And then angel replies like, dude, I'm not an angel. My name is just angel. Stop talking to me. I could totally imagine that. Okay, but shenanigans aside, uh, let's go and visit ourselves another place. I'm thinking maybe we'll go to a red zone, because I just want to go somewhere where I could fight a lot and use up some of the durability on some of these weaker weapons here and potentially get some good loot out of it. So I think the red zone fits those qualifications quite perfectly. But along with that, I want to kind of continue talking about my idea about eventually having like a real shopkeeper. Because think about it, like I would love to see that where you could go somewhere and you could at least sell some of your extra parts. Like ATV gas tanks, you will never use those again. Like unless they add in a second ATV or like, I don't, like I don't know. It literally it says ATV gas tank. The only thing I could think of is selling it, but there's no way of doing that. So having a trader or something like... I feel like, is that 30 stamina? Dude, you are kidding me. Are you, you, oh my god. 
I guess we'll start walking there, but I don't know, dude. Having a trader, I feel like would be such an awesome idea because whenever you have extra, like, just extra stuff that you don't want, you could go there and maybe sell it for, like, I don't, like, what, like, ugh, there's not really a current, maybe you could sell it for gold in game. Like, maybe it could be, like, a really reasonable price. Like, I know that's pretty far-fetched because they want to sell gold with their, uh, they want to sell gold in the store and whatnot. Right? But think of, like, maybe, you know, you could get, like, small amounts, like, really small amounts of coins or something from, like, that central trader. And then you could, like, buy things over here in the shop. Or maybe they could just move, like, all co Like, they could have a coin shop that you go to on the map. And then here you just have the convenience shop that maybe costs, uh, like, actual monies, you know? I don't know. I, f I think that might be an interesting way of potentially, like, differentiating from the money monies to the different, um... Whatchamacall, from differentiating from something like the Raider starter pack here compared to, uh, like, gasoline. You know, so you could go to the trader in-game, buy gasoline, but to buy this stuff, like the engineering pack or something for a buck, you gotta buy it from this shop. I don't know, that's like, that's an idea I had. Feel free to give feedback on that as well. I just think it'd be cool. I, do I think it could be incorporated? Maybe? Do I think it will be? Eh. I mean, we'll see. You know, nothing's set in stone. Nothing, I mean, with whatever. Shenanigans aside, we're in a bloody red forest. Let's do some damage, shall we? We're about to be swarmed by 20 toxic spitters anyway. <sighs> we are going to be so smelly by the end of this. I think someone did, uh, I was reading over on Reddit or something. I think someone did the mathematical research or the science. I think it takes, like, great parking, dude. A plus parking. Who taught you to do that? <laughs> Literally in a tree. Oh my god. I hate you guys. Yeah, so the problem here is the spit I think if they spit on you like five times or something like that you become smelly Also, dude for real. What the hell is I parked inside of a tree? This is my worst parking job to date Okay, even when I was learning to drive in real life. I don't think I ever managed to park inside of a tree Oh out with your legs. You're not gonna be needing those anymore where you're going. Where do zombies go where they die? I don't know. Probably to go visit the Grim Reaper or something. Another one, eh? I'm so happy I can still dodge these guys. Toxic spitters that you can't dodge are awful. Also, I'm so happy we have a katana again. Honestly, I haven't had a katana in quite a while. I forgot just how amazing this thing is. I'm gonna be so sad when it breaks again. Is that another spitter? Look at that, I told you. Attacked by 20 toxic spitters. Gotta cut their legs out from underneath them. Like the savages that we are. Also, apparently, you can kill the big one now. Supposedly, it's possible. In which case, we might be gearing up to try and make this happen. Also, we got a ton of people. Oh, let's just set it to auto fight. To hell with it. I'll accept the consequences of the smelly ones. Ow. Woo! Time that pretty all right. I hate, dude. I forgot what it's like to fight a sumo wrestler here. Woo! My time and my reflexes are still good, though. You're hungry. Is the zombie blood? Is there pain and suffering not enough for your hunger? Oh, look at that, a beta card. Or bravo, not beta. I haven't got one of those in a hot minute. Another one, really? Dude, I wonder if there's gonna be a survivor with a gun that attacks us. Cause I know in red zones, I've been attacked by a dude with like a, a not, not a dragon off, but the VSS. I think I've actually been attacked by one of those before. I'm gonna leave that behind just so I could have plenty of room for the loot. So I'm kind of prioritizing the loot boxes right now. So sorry if you don't agree with that, but I agree with it and that's what matters. I'm just gonna, I'm not, I'm not bringing those with. Oh God, we got a bigger fellow coming. Toxic Abomination, hello buddy. How you doing? Hope your day is awesome. Just like all of you guys out there. Except here's the thing, I'm not gonna end up stabbing you guys with a katana. So I hope you guys have an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day. That doesn't end in me stabbing you with a katana. Unlike our friend, Freddy the Frenzy Giant over here. Oh, I thought I could sneak up on you. I was running for a wee bit too long. Okay, I'll punch you in the face. Perfect. I'm gonna start using up some of these durability weapons. Now, hopefully we don't have to fight anything good because we are resorting to kind of crappier weapons right now. So maybe if we could just get some like sneak attacks, do a lot of damage and then kill them pretty quick. There we go. Yeah, golf club only does 18 damage. It's about half as much as the katana and I'm pretty sure the katana might be quicker. Like, don't quote me on that. Hello. I like what I'm seeing there. Like, do I even bother to take the gas tanks at this point? I, like, I, I just don't know if it's worth it. What, what do I get out of it? 
Like, maybe one day if they make a store where you can sell stuff, maybe then I'll get something out of it. But right now, I ain't getting jack, son. I ain't getting jack. The bloater's low Dude, why do you hype up the bloater? What is so special about this man? Nothing. He's just a bigger fella is all. Oh, don't spit on me. Oh, no. We become smelly. At least I can juke you. What you gonna do? Nope. Four. Give me a give me a hole in one or like a home run or whatever whatever the hell it's called. I gave you guys a couple seconds there, so holy hell! They're about to Oreo me! Nope. I do not have the weapons to take care of both of you guys at once. That's not happening. I will run around a little bit though. I wanna see, is there one more chest that we could have potentially looted? Cause I ain't seeing one. Huh. Oh no. Oh no, it's our buddy the toxic spitter. Okay, I know when I've overstayed my welcome. I believe we've hit that critical point at this juncture. Anything new pop up on the map? I'd love to visit a pit stop, baby. I brought my bike. I'm ready to go. I'll ditch a ton of the stuff I have for some of the guns at pit stops. Nah, it's looking like we're crap out of luck again. Although, the airdrop is about to wear out. So you know what I might do? I'm gonna wait a couple minutes. I'll run back to base. Uh, I could use some fuel, but I, I got the coinage for it. I could run back to base. I'm gonna store some of my stuff, and then hopefully in three minutes we could maybe get an event to happen. Cause the, like at least that's what I noticed. Usually it's kind of like there's can only be two events going on at once. Maybe something along those lines. I don't know. But so we'll see if we get something to happen, and we'll just take things from there. All right. No better way to celebrate some fantastic organization than with a hot, steamy shower. I actually don't know if this would technically be hot or steamy because it is uh, quite the ghetto rig shower. <laughs> but all right, let's go and see if we're maybe lucky enough to go and check out another event. I've done some more organization. Dude, I just like, I hate what the zombies do. Like, I know some of you guys are probably like, Star, I could raid you if it was a thing right now. I know, but it's not, and I'm just sick and tired of zombies. Constantly pooping all over my dreams, dude. Not just pooping, they poop and then they smear the poop over my dreams. It is really morally, you know, it's it, it's not good for my morale. It hurts, baby. It hurts. But let's see what's over here on the overview. Hopefully on the overview we'll be able to access some new stuff very, very soon. Like I said, if that 1.6 update's coming, if it is indeed gonna work how I think it will, it's gonna be in about... Two days? Three days, maybe? Friday, Saturday is usually when they've been releasing them, so... I'm gonna try and be ready for that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead. Let's run over here. We'll walk in for a quick sec. We'll see if there's anything. If there isn't, we'll walk out. And hopefully there will be. Or no, uh, we'll walk out, then we'll see if there's anything. In terms of stuff we could loot. Cross your fingers for me, boys and girls. Cross your fingers. Ah... Looks like our luck isn't as good as it could be. Well, nothing you can do about that. But other than that, I think that's a good point for us to go ahead and end off today's video on. If you guys liked the video at all, like I said, make sure to hit that like button. While you're at it, make sure you comment and are subscribed to be entered in the giveaway as well. And I'll be talking to you guys very soon. I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow, of course, like I said, daily last day on Earth videos. But hopefully that new update comes out very soon. Because I'm excited for it. But other than that, it's going to wrap up for me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. It was a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.